Welcome back. We're jumping right into Jurassic Park 3 Chaos Theory. I know it's a lot shorter than, well, these two, especially. Um, I know that Eastless Order Site B and Fallen Kingdom are extremely short, but, uh, yeah, well, uh, that's a park build, park build, park build. I'm not too sure about this, because, as you can see, I'm at 83%. From what I know, you keep uh, poachers away, and then you have to build a park, and I think that's about as far as I got, and then I stopped. And then these are just like, save the dinos, uh, take the dinosaurs off islands kind of stuff. But yeah, let's uh, jump into East of the Site B, Jurassic Park 3 Chaos Theory. Humanity and dinosaurs were never intended to be this close to one another. San Diego deserved better. So too did the dinosaurs. But human beings, well, they're predictable, curious, greedy. And these intruders caused more chaos than anyone could have imagined. In the time we'd been away, people had gone from caretakers to threat. Simon Mazrani wanted to realize John Hammond's vision. Bigger, grander, more ambitious than the original. The dinosaurs have their own ambitions to hunt, to feed, carve out their niche in this strange new world. Let's see how things play out when we add you to the mix. Try not to get in their way, or you might be destined to repeat the past. This is where all the excitement happened. Yes, this is the place. Simply amazing. And here, we will do it again. In addition to capturing the dinosaurs, which will serve as our foundation, I purchased InGen because I believe in the science. You can reproduce your results, can't you, Dr. Wu? Of course I can do it. But it's going to take considerable effort and resources to get the science back to where it was. And you will be well compensated for your efforts. Of course, I demand results. And you will have them. I trust you've settled in and are ready to get started. This is Lily Halford, and she's coordinating operations. Miss Halford? Thank you, Mr. Masrani. I think I speak for everyone here when I say we are very grateful for this opportunity you've given us. As a boy, I loved to play with toy animals. And now, with this island and the dinosaurs, I have the greatest toy set imaginable. I want that joy, that excitement I had as a child. I want it to be felt by everyone. You will make that happen. We'll need to start by getting a control center and response facility online. They'll all require power. This will give us a strong foundation. And then, dinosaurs. That is the plan. This is my investment in the vision and in my people. Please, don't let me get in the way. All right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but what I do know is these tropical maps, tropical maps, good grief, my English is terrible. These tropical maps are uh, one of my favorites, beautiful and easy to get thumbnails on. Beautiful stegosaurs, aranosaurs, brachiosaurus in the distance. Uh, but yeah, this isn't going to be a very long episode. I'll probably make the JP3 Chaos Theory a two-parter, but we shall see. Um, yeah, it's been so long since I've 
done the chaos theories. I don't even know what happen ne happens next. I know that you eventually turn this into like one big enclosure for dinosaurs. So if I can, yeah, I can. So let's get rid of this while we can. Because I know you need to trank them and then heal them, I'm not too sure, and then send them off island to Isla Nublar for the Jurassic World Chaos Theory. Which is funny because you don't even use them in that Chaos Our Theory. Is the Ankylosaurus. Lovely creature. Capture it and then secure it in an enclosure. I do know that you use, I believe, Gallimimus uh, and Ankylosaurus for the next Chaos Theory. But, right now, let's just focus on this one. Okay, uh, capture Ankylosaurus, let's get an enclosure first. Um, I know that the Ceratosaurus is in this one. It doesn't need anything bigger than maybe a 2x2. Two Maybe a two by three. And then we'll pop this down right there. And then make the rest one big enclosure. Ah, ah. <laughs> and then we'll put one right here, and then right here, and then I know we need to go up that way. So, for the time being, Let's go get us, ourselves, a Ankylosaur. Or two. I don't know how many it is. Looks like it's just the one. Then we'll stick it in here. And let's do a little terrain edits. Make this look a little nicer. Throw on the auto paint. Maybe get some divots going. some water going. Asset transportation in progress. There we go. Speed up time. I don't know why I didn't do that at the beginning. But that's alright. Uh, fossils. What about research? Do we got any research? Might as well do that. Get that going. Closures. We'll do that next. Realistically, you don't need to, but... Okay. While this is a team effort, I'm sure you understand that my vision carries some weight. With that said, I want a ranger post constructed and then a team assigned to it. From there, yeah, yeah. they can perform status checks And then on this the is going to be Ceratosaurus. Beautiful. Is your Ankylosaurus happy? The best way to find out is I to hope monitor so. their comfort level and increase it as necessary. She is happy. Drink. 
Olsen oh, Welles Pepper. once said okay. this was about a movie studio. He said that it was the biggest electric train set a boy ever had. Of course, he never had dinosaurs. I want to make sure we can see and monitor the Ankylosaurus. Build a viewing platform, will you? I realize that may have sounded like a suggestion, but I know you understand. We need to move these animals to the holding facility off-site. Once their enclosure is ready, we can bring them to Jurassic World. And move off-site. Okay. And then, theoretically speaking, I should probably do this because I don't think I'll I'll be getting that Ankylosaurus back. So, get rid of that. We are already at 11 minutes. I will probably do another 10 or so. I hope you're ready for some excitement. I certainly am. All right. Today, we need to capture several dinosaurs of the same species and get them back under our control. Captive and in an enclosure. I'm ready when you are. Which should be now. Kind of eerie in the rain. Is that enough? That was enough. Um, why is he so far away from his herd? Where was the other one? Uh oh. There we go. Wait, did that say awaken? No. Okay. Okay. I know the Ceratosaurus comes down the mountain and into the water area, which is pretty cool. Where did she run to? Hello? Why didn't, why didn't you get tranquilized? I told him to. I'm over here going insane. It wasn't even me. The chopper didn't even do what it was supposed to. Kentrosaurus. I think that's Kentrosaur. Looks like it. There we go. Now we just gotta wait on the one. Oh, look at that. So adorable. I love the Stegos.
Let's crack on with these next tasks then, shall we? You're responsible for performing status checks and increasing the dinosaur's welfare. Should be straightforward, and I know you're up to the job. Cool. I see, he's cutting them off. I love keeping an eye on my dinosaurs, but I just don't have the time to do so as much as I'd like. That's why I have you. Be my eyes and monitor these animals. These dinosaurs are ready to move to the holding facility. Let's not keep them or me waiting. All right. Transportation underway. Transit has commenced. There's a new dinosaur out in the wild. Track the animal and capture it so we can bring it back into the fold. Came down from the mountain. All right. Blop. Grab him before he drowns. <laughs> this is an unpopular opinion, but in JPOG, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, um, the dinosaurs would poop, and I feel like that would be a pretty cool feature to have because you already assigned the rangers to their outpost so if a dinosaur poops have when you click on that to sign them make the ranger team clean up the poop just an idea i don't know make the animals more realistic god bless god bless Jurassic park operation genesis it's one of my favorites It's what started all of this, really. My dog's going nuts out there. Alright, well, I think what I'm going to do, though, is call this episode there. And, uh,. We'll be back in part two. I'll catch you ladies and gentlemen later. Please don't forget to like and sub. Comment your favorite part of the episode or your favorite dinosaur. And I'll catch you later. Peace.